Cool beans! Look at the fish! Electrifying, man. Yeah. Okay, so welcome back to Subnautica. Hi. We're going to be today... We, we kind of finished the story already. Kind of. Uh, but there's still one more element that actually finishes the game, right? The whole story was, you know, to help the Sea Emperor, help the big Leviathan, uh, and, you know, cure the sickness and stuff. And we did that, and the gun is off, so we can leave now if we want to. But in order to leave, we need a rocket. So the goal now is to uh, build the rocket. And so what you need is the Neptune launch platform. And that is... Going to take two titanium ingots, a computer chip, and four lead. Pretty sure we have all that stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. Aboard the submarine. Or at least, yeah, we pretty much have. I, I think we have enough titanium to do that. Welcome it takes aboard, ten, right? All systems online. So we have we have a bunch up here. But we also have some upstairs too, I think, here. So if I do two titanium ingots. Oh, maybe I need one more. Nope, I need more than one more. Okay, up. I think I have more up here. I'm gonna need four lead too, which I have more than enough of. Not there. Not there. Damn, I don't have any more. I don't have any more titanium. It's not hard to find it. It's not hard to get it. So I will get it, but I was kind of hoping I have more. What about these other ones? What about these? Any in here? None in here. Interesting. Okay, but we also have the egg. I want to put the creature eggs in the tank. So at least going to do that. But we need to find... We need to get more titanium. Also, let's put this on five. We can travel faster. So build the rocket... And then I want to, I want this to go to the surface. So we're going to work on that too. So lots of building, lots of resource gathering today, and lots of just hanging out and talking and chilling, right? And then, you know, doing raffles, which I'll probably have like eight of them in the chat today, including right now, you know? I'll probably have like eight raffles today. Because we're just, we're just chilling and talking about future projects, you know? I want to hear your opinions on things. Like, did, did anybody did anybody comment on the house flipper idea? It's sort of like, I imagine it's going to be just as chill as, maybe not as chill. But I, I imagine it'll be pretty close to as chill as, uh, as like, truck simulator, but maybe with a bit more diversity, if you will, in... Oh yeah, drop the creature eggs. All right, eggs. It is time to hatch. Good luck to you. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I'm gonna miss Jarvis. You know? I'm gonna miss him. Telling me that all the systems are online. It was, it was very comforting to know that. All right, good. Whew. My name should be green if I'm on green team. Maybe. I'm going to replace some of the emotes that are... Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in the storage tank of a prawn suit. Is it in there? I thought I had more titanium than this. Or we can just clip through the whole thing. That's cool, too. Yeah, I have quartz, though. Oh, look at the other creature egg. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We got another egg. Let's make glass first, though. We're gonna need tons of it. Tons of glass. I need, I need like 500 glass. So we're going hunting for quartz today. You know, it's a real laid-back day. If you're into that, awesome. If you're not, well, then let's chat about future projects. You might be more into that, actually. Personally, I think House Flipper is cool. What's House Flipper? You never heard of it? Well, it's a uh, it's a game where you basically buy a house, it's trashed, and you need to fix it up, sell it for a profit. That's what it means when you flip house. When you flip a house, you buy a house that's you buy a house that's garbage, not garbage, but like you know, not not the greatest shape. 
and you uh, you sell it for a profit. That's how. That's not what my wife and I are doing, but my wife and I are actually more into turnkey properties. Uh, I say this like we buy tons of properties. We don't. It's just our. This is actually nerve wracking. It's our second one, so it's like. But, um, basically, properties where you, you it's it's move in ready. So we get it, we pay our mortgage on it every month, but we find a renter who can, um, who's going to rent it for more money per month than our mortgage is going to be, right? And like some, I, I never quite got like if you're capable, if you're financially capable of renting a home every month, then you'd think you'd be financially capable enough to purchase that home for lower per month. But it's about credit worthiness and it's about the fact that if you, you, you're not committing to the whole thing, right? So it's like, if you, if something happens or maybe you're not the most financially stable, then you're not on the hook for that property forever. But at the same time, if you own it, if you're a home owner, then your payments that you're doing every month are going into equity. like. They're not really, aside from the interest, you're not really losing money. You're just putting money into your home's investment. You're 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 still retaining retaining the value in it, right? So like homeowner, I think maybe this is not a millennial mindset. I don't think it is, but I'm open to discussion. I don't think it's a millennial mindset. I I I need, I need to put all the stuff in storage. What am I doing? I'm like going out to get titanium and glass and stuff, and I have a full inventory. What the hell's wrong with me? I think home ownership isn't really a millennial idea. Which is good for people who, you know, want to take advantage of it. Like we do. Because it's like people want to pay us more than we're paying for the property. But like, if something happens, right? It's, that's the that's the bad thing. Like, if it's if it's happening, or if it's um, like the furnace breaks, you know, like ours is about to break, like our furnace is going down, man. It's like this thing's going down. Uh, but if our furnace breaks, who's gonna pay for it? Who's gonna pay to fix it? Well, I have to. You know, that's just the way it is. But if um, you know, if the furnace breaks at their house when you're renting then whoever the landlord is has to fix it. So that, that helps with your cost a little bit. I'm not gonna bring that, I'm not gonna bring the C-Glide. It's, uh, it's too much storage space. I just wanna bring enough. I don't even need the flare. I'm probably not gonna need the laser cutter. If I do, I'll wanna put a battery in it though. Uh, flashlight's got 3%. I probably should bring one extra battery. That's probably it though. I don't need anything else. And you know what? Let's take the flashlight that's got 72. Yeah. Okay. So this will be one, two, three, uh, four. Wait, huh? Three, four. Uh, I guess five. Five. And then. Uh, let's actually equip this really quick. Because maybe we want to go in there. I don't know. Probably not, but maybe I do. Maybe I do want to go in there. There. And then we grab this. Cool. Hi, beautiful people. Hey, Nile. Nashinigami. Nashinigami. Is that how you say the name? Welcome in. Okay, so we're gonna grab a ton of materials, but the idea, of course, being we wanna build this Neptune launch platform. That's what we're into. I have everything except the titanium, so we're gonna go and be doing a lot of titanium today. Also, maybe bring the prawn suit. Also, maybe uh, have the scanner room finding wreckage, because that's gonna be the fastest way to get titanium is to find all the wreckages. So I think we turn the scanner room onto that. If we can find it. Wreck. Uh, not wreck. I want salvage. Like salvageable stuff. 
which is not showing up. Let's put it. Let's put it on titanium. See if it can find a source so we can drill. Maybe the drillable source is better because it's it's really fast. And then when we go and look for that, maybe we'll find a drillable source of titanium. Let's take the prawn suit. Who knows? The plug of my hair straighteners just exploded. Love that for me. Wait, you have hair straighteners? Don't you have short hair? Am I misremembering? I thought you had short hair. Is it like naturally curly and you don't want it to be curly? Come on, find the titanium. Somewhere. We're going to find something to drill and I'm going to want to have the resources for it. There we go. Target acquired. Two sources of titanium. Let's go get it. I'm growing it out. Ah, okay. Naturally curly, but you're growing it out. Cool. I see. Oh, I missed. Unfortunate. Go get it. It's not just sitting there, right? It is drillable. Aw, uh, what? It's just sitting there? Aw, uh, lame! I thought that was a drillable source. Wait, huh? Come on now. Just finished this game yesterday. I'm glad to catch the ending of your playthrough. Cool. Yeah, really all we have to do is build the rocket and we can end, but... Um, I am gonna finish the fish tank at least. Which requires like, I don't know, 500 titanium or something. Like it's, it's gonna be nuts. We need tons of glass for it too. Lots of titanium, lots of glass, and then also lithium because I need reinforcements and stuff too. So this is, this is mostly gonna be a hangout stream combined with resource gathering, right? I'm not even entirely sure how much of this is really useful for YouTube. So probably most of this won't even be on YouTube probably tell I might not even record half of this just because I don't want to like flood Jake with tons of footage that is not really all that meaningful unless people like to watch this and just chill you know maybe people are more into just like yeah man it doesn't matter if you're building Look how fast we're moving Whee! oh yeah that's some good speed right there. But it's all just stuff to grab. It's just sitting out in the open. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted at all. And there's still that creature egg too. I'm gonna put that creature egg in the tank. I gotta see what that egg is. What in the... It's not letting me go. There it goes. Oh, falling. Oh, come on now. Come on now, video game. There you go. There you go. Good. Pull me over there. Excellent. Let's put this... Actually, take the titanium out. Might as well empty it. Empty all the storage. And we'll go put... Uh, I think the ion cubes can make better batteries, of course. But I don't know if we really need them. A chill charge stream isn't bad. Yeah. I agree. I like it. One, two, three, four. And, like... Where's the rest of the lead? What's in here? That's just the rubber. Uh, 
silver, not necessary. Enameled glass, I don't need that. Okay. Let's head down really quick. And... Do I have any glass on me? This is all quartz right now. Okay. I almost have everything I need to build that Neptune pad. Because I think the rest of the... Isn't the rest of the titanium in storage in here? I thought I put it in storage. I don't remember, I guess. Let's drop the egg and see what hatches. That's a cool egg. This one here is going to hatch. That one's going to hatch. How many of those electric eel things are we going to have? Like, look at these things. This thing is super cool, man. Amp eel. It's badass. So many fish. They won't let me swim down. That's a thing? I gotta be careful. I can drown in my own fish tank. Can I search for salvage now? Still no. Darn. Alright, well, search for... I don't really want to search for Rex. I still want to search for Titanium. What about Quartz? I guess it would be... Quartz is found in... Certain chunks, right? No, it's that's out in the open. I guess we'll keep it searching for Titanium, then. We haven't found any salvage to collect yet. Uh, is that in the... It's not. It's outside it. Yeah, it's still outside it. Okay. Let's put it in storage then. We'll just dump all of this in here for now. And then we'll come back with a full inventory of stuff. Also, power cells that are charged. Let's keep a spare on us, I guess. Get ourselves full of food. Grab that. Off we go. Could have went out the other door. Chose not to. I guess we'll go in the prawn suit because it's already out here. It already also has the most... Uh, it has the most storage capacity. Because of the modules and upgrades I put on it. I guess I could probably put more storage on the Seamoth, though. Are those fishes infected? Uh, I don't know, maybe. But they're uh, they're not harmful to me, so... They could be, though. It's possible. And they might be the only ones that are infected soon. There's really no titanium at all over here. That's disappointing. Like, we got lithium, which we'll need for the reinforced titanium. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this. But it's really titanium and quartz that I need the most of. We'll get a little bit more. That's good for now. We won't need any more. I don't think. I have I have a little bit of supply elsewhere, too. Is that salt? It's not quartz. I think it's salt. Yeah, it's salt. Darn. Leave me be. Wouldn't it be worth searching around the Aurora for a titanium? Pretty sure we scavenged pretty much everything over there. There might be some wrecks... There might be a, a few things that are still left there, but... I'm mostly looking for things like... Things I can drill. I, I was looking for deposits that I can drill into. Which is why I'm taking this instead of the Seamoth. And also because my prawn suit has more storage capacity. But now I have all of these, which is great. And now that I've found these, Metal Salvage... I can have the scanner room look for them, too. That'll be nice. 
What's down here? Anything I can scan? For some extra titanium? Indeed. Sweet. All right, then. So a bunch of salvage is in inventory. That's nice. Go and uh, pop it in storage. Cool. All right. So I don't really th see a need to go down super deep. Also, the prawn suit's pretty resilient to damage. So if I do get into trouble with, like, creatures and stuff... I don't have to worry about the Seamoth breaking, because prawn suit. Look at all this stuff. Salvage everywhere. I haven't been up here ever. It's been just... I've been completely ignoring this area, apparently. Good for me. Good for us! It's our fish tank, okay? Not just mine. It's our fish tank. And now we're going to have... No additional quartz yet. If I can find, like, big deposits of quartz and drill into it, that would be pretty cool. Look at all that storage space. Damn. I like it a lot. I thought there was one more. Isn't there one more? Maybe I'm just seeing things. No, nope, it's right here. Also here. Saw this one here, too. So that gives us enough to make the, the launch pad. Yep. Launch pad is... Launch pad is a go. Cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. So polite. Darn. There's more over there. Do I have enough room? I sure do. Grab this one. And this one. Anything here? Nope. Got room for a little bit more. See, the prawn suit can be faster than the Seamoth. If you do it right with this grapple arm, you can go faster than the Seamoth. Hmm. I'm not seeing any stuff over here, though. You give me another month or two, and I'll give you max sass. Sass level 9,000. If the rocket ends the game with no going back, make sure to have a hard save. I think it doesn't. But I have a hard save point as of this stream, so. Like, with all the bugs that we've been encountering, I'm making regular hard save points now, so. Which, I mean, like, it's hard, it's still hardcore. We haven't died in this playthrough. Uh, well, okay, we've died once, but we started over completely when we did die. So, in this life, if you will, we haven't started over, so. It's still a hardcore win. But, because of bugs, yeah, it would be irresponsible not to uh, make hard saves. Should be able to mark it. I, I want to search for quartz now, though. Because quartz is, I mean... I, I, I do need the titanium because I do need it to go like all the way up to the surface but if I want to have it be glass all the way up then I, I need I need lots of quartz so that'll be a problem probably have to go way deeper to get the quartz hey Charlie why so late because the reasons discussed on the schedule channel uh 
because my computer needed to export RimWorld. And it took forever to do that, so. It got to the point where it's 99% done, but it's time to stream. And I wasn't gonna, I wasn't about to give up when it's 99%. So I just let it finish. Hey, Abathur. Meh, water. I'm an underwater Spider-Man, yeah. M. Warren, thanks for the follow, welcome. Let's make the titanium ingot, and we're ready to produce. We're ready to make the rocket ship now, or the rocket platform at least. This will give me a bunch of titanium there. There's the lead, and the quartz will be glass. Let's go take a look at it, see what we can do. Wait, we want to... Hang on. We want to make sure we have the ingot. Is it in there? Yeah. So that's one ingot. What was the formula again? Uh, computer chip. Computer chip. Computer chip. That requires table coral, copper wire. It requires some things that I have access to but don't have on me, basically. Yeah, pretty much. All right, well, let's um, let's build the tower some more. Actually, we should be able to... I don't know what the integrity of the hull is right now. Let's, let's check it. It's 5.4. Feels good, man. We're going to go with a window. And we'll put the window... Let's just put it here. And then, can we do another one? No. We can't do the reinforcement yet because I don't have the lithium, but we can come up to the top and do another multi-purpose room. Whee! Two point two. We have room for one more then. There we go. Cool. Now it's point nine. It's gonna get to the point where we're gonna want to sea glide for this, or use the sea moth because it's just faster to get around. We'll probably start taking the sea moth up there for the table coral. Though I don't have, I don't have a table coral sample. Is there any way to? grow something near the base that has table coral as part of it. Whoops. That's not what I want. It's not what I want. I just want it inside the storage. There we go. So many trips. Storage. Now, why would I think that's okay? It's like takes up four slots and that gives me four titanium which also takes up four slots let's save that over there and we'll grab it here so yeah I want to do I think I want to do KSP um, I want to try it live so instead of doing sub-zero because sub-zero's story is gonna change isn't it and like there's a case to be made that you'd want to do it before the story changes so that you know what that's like. There's another case to be made that I would start the story and then all of a sudden the game would change and I'd have to start it all over again anyway. It's because I wouldn't finish it. I play slow, so. So I think I'd rather just wait for it to change and if I want to see what the story was like before, I'll watch somebody else do it.
Yeah, we need table coral. Okay, then. Uh, let's see if we can set... Set something up here. Put all this stuff in here. Turn this to quartz if we can. Most likely, though... Yeah, okay, it can go quartz. Good. Turn it to quartz. See what, see what it finds. If it finds quartz, great. If it doesn't, um, I guess also great. Whoops. We'll go in the sea moth to All systems online. see there's quartz over there. Watch, it's drillable quartz and I can't use it. I have to come back and get the prawn suit anyway. More KSP, nice. Yeah. I, I want to I wanna try the, the mothership idea. The other idea is just to try realism overhaul, but that's a really long commitment. Like, it's going to be so long, and it's... I want to try shorter projects. It's not really my style, but I needed to make it my style because it does. it's just way more successful. Plus, it means I can experience more things. I mean, if I want to play, like, 30 different games, I can't start playing the ones that are going to take forever to play, you know? It's like having a to-do list and then choosing the one thing that's going to take you the longest possible time to complete and saying, I want to do that one first. You're, like, you're not going to check very many boxes off your list. So I, I think I'd rather do the ones that are a little bit shorter. If I can. Stupid fish. Always ruining my, my hull. Let's grab this. I mean, I don't, this is the slowest possible way to gather quartz. Surely there's some location somewhere that has mineable sources of quartz that I could just get a ton of it. It's probably really... Lava lizard egg discovered? Ooh, lava lizard. Is that like the lava larvas or... I don't know about a lava lizard. Go quartz, go quartz, go, go quartz, go quartz, go. Oh, good. Salvage. We'll grab that really quick. Or not. Thank you. And salvage there. I'm not very smart, okay? I'm not. Hi, YouTube. Welcome back. I'm not very smart, okay? So, we started building the Neptune without you. Sorry. Okay? I apologize. I knew that would happen, too. <laughs> I just knew that would happen. So, basically, <laughs> um, we just gathered enough resources to build it. I went up here. Yeah. So I went up here to the mobile vehicle bay and I said build and then it did. It built it. So now the task is, you know, to build the other components of the rocket. Right? But you would do that on the platform. So we would head over here really quick. I'm just giving a quick pause to the song request. Give me a second. Whoops. I knew that would happen. I would start doing something and just totally forgot to record it. All right, so we got the launch platform. So now we need to uh, build the gantry. We need plasteel ingot, copper wire, and lubricant. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that later. I have all of it pretty much, but we'll get it. So, okay, you've been updated, YouTube. See, we're going to keep building now. Um... We're not quite to the surface yet, though. Look. It's, uh... We've got another 60 or so meters to go. 58 meters. This is how close we are. Right here. And we just come up. And there's the surface. Right? We're getting there. It's very close. I mean, look how far we've come. 
<laughs> it's Charlie making a tribute to the Washington Monument. Nay. I make a, a tribute to the Char Monument. All right. Washington ain't got nothing on me. Look at this. I did all of this all by myself under the water. What did Washington do? Huh? Washington didn't do shit by himself. He had help. Lots and lots of help. Me? I was stranded alone. On a foreign place. With nothing but my... Not even a trusty knife. I had to build my own knife. Yeah, I, I wasn't even... An, I didn't even have a knife. Okay? So my trusty knife... Yeah. Titanium ingot. Can I make the plasteel one or no? I forget what it takes. Lithium. Why do I never have lithium on me? Like, where did I put it all? Right here. Plasteel ingot. Whing! Now, what does it take to build the gantry? I forget. I've already forgotten. Does it, does it say it in here? Yeah, Neptune gantry. Uh, copper wire and lubricant. I have both of those things. They're on the Cyclops. We'll just go get them really quick. We could probably pull those resources off the Cyclops and stick them in the actual base now. Probably. All systems on the line. And nope. This. Time to get some food. See ya. See ya, Jalmer. What is it? Uh, lubricant. That's over here. Okay, good. We can build the... We can build the gantry now. So let's go... I actually want to move those and bring them up there. Right? Eventually. Let's build the gantry. I'm all the way down. Go in the Seamoth. Look at that launch pad. Doesn't it look awesome? See, what's going to happen is... This tower will go all the way up to the surface, right? And then when it does that, we'll be able to see the launch pad from within the fish tank, right? We'll be able to go in the fish tank and see the launch pad. That'll be awesome, okay? I don't care what anyone says, that's awesome. Construct gantry. Look at it go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Look what we could do with a tiny little plasteel ingot. That fit in my pocket. I just wanted to point that out. That, it fit in my pocket. Of my wetsuit. Which apparently has really kick-ass pockets. Magic pockets. Okay. Good. The entry's done. Well, almost done. Now it's done. So now we gotta build the Neptune boosters. Another plasteel ingot, nickel, two aerogel, and a wiring kit. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Unless I die <laughs> by diving into my sea moth. That would be pretty easy too, wouldn't it? Hello. Hey, Krios. How are you? I need plasteel. Do you have any more gum? And a wiring kit, which is easy. Uh, where's my lithium? It's here, right? Yeah. Bring my lithium. And I believe we could just make another plasteel ingot right now. And the aerogel is cake. Easy. Aerogel is this stuff. I need two of it, actually, so... Probably can't make two right now. Oh? Oh, the rubies. That actually creates a little bit of a problem. Because I don't think I have enough rubies to do this. Let's come up here really quick. Maybe I do. I need one. There's an advanced wiring kit. I might need that later. Hey, Quartz. I'm going to use you for glass. How's that sound? Actually, there's enough glass there to make my fish tank bigger. There's a ruby. That was close. Okay. There's a ruby. So let's make one aerogel. There's another 
Ruby on the base already in storage, I believe. And I think that's all we needed was two aerogel for this. I should probably verify that before I actually make it. Because I believe YouTube is privy to this momentous occasion. Because, you know, sometimes we gotta let the... Sometimes the cool kids have to let in the other ones. We're gonna go with the other ones. Okay. Cool kids can't have everything all the time. All to themselves, anyway. Wow, that's loud. The music got really loud, didn't it? Where's my Wonka Vader? This is called the Wonka Vader now, by the way. I don't think I've renamed it, though. Am I able to rename the Seamoth? It'd be cool if I could. Because it's basically a Wonka Vader at this time. We just get in. We go up to this part of the fish tank. Right? We're going to build our fish tank again. Expanding. Making it bigger than it was before. Cooler Man Chaos. Welcome in. And then we're going to drop... Whoops. Oh. See? Then we take this out. We go... Like so. Take away the hatch. Then we... Where is it? Hatch. We move up one. Pop the hatch back in. And this is where our fish tank needs to be. Okay. All the way up for the fish tank. It's going to take so much quartz. But right now I need nickel. More nickel. So we can build the uh, the boosters. Uh, eh. Eh. I don't really care to dock. It doesn't matter. How is daylight savings time for you? All systems online. <laughs> there. That's my answer. That's my official statement. You can quote me in the article. My official statement on daylight savings time. I need a wiring kit. Do I not have one? It's easy to make, but if I already have one, I'd rather just do that. No. All right. Well, we'll make one then. One, two on the silver. And good. We're on pace to set a single day record. Yeah, baby. Bring it. Oh, I'm making so much cash. I can't wait. I can't wait to just sell it all. Sell my puts. I'm not even going to. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to. I think I'm going to sell the puts instead of just exercising it. I think it makes more sense. I'm up like 400%. It's pretty stupid. Like, the rest of our, like, I don't know. Mike knows what I'm talking about, probably. Um, the rest of the holdings, like, at the actual stock that we hold, that's down a long ways. But, uh, the puts are actually offsetting it by double. So, I'm making more on the put. I'm making twice as much on the puts that I'm losing on the stock we fall. That's pretty nice. All right, up here. Am I the only one bugged by the fact that those storage thingies render with shelves empty no matter how full they are? A little bit. It's, But then again, like, I don't know. I think they just focused on what was important as opposed to, you know, getting everything. I mean, this is the same game. This is, there's so many bugs in the game anyway that, that glitch through and fish. I'm more bothered, I think, by the fact that fish can swim through the air through your base than I am by than I am by the shelves in that. Look at the boosters. Oh, the rocket is being built. Look at those. What a structure. What a structure, I say. 